Today I'm going to show you how I go about soldering uh, connectors onto batteries. Uh, these batteries that I'm soldering up today are going to be used in an upcoming article, my Ultimate Electrics column, where I'm working on the A26 Invader from VQ Models. And this is uh, distributed by Global Hobby and sold by hobby people out here. So uh, let's begin. Here's the battery that I'm going to use in the A26. I'm going to attach the Dean's Ultra Plug to the ends and use two pieces of shrink tubing on each end of the wire to add support for the plug. Now the helping hands here is used to keep everything in place and holds everything firmly during soldering. I like this soldering gun. It maintains the heat well and it uh, melts the solder quite rapidly which is really important when soldering onto batteries. The solder that I use has the flux built in and I get it from Radio Shack. Now you can use this type or if you use the type without the flux built in, you can purchase flux separately which you add on to each piece before soldering. I start by melting a drop of solder onto the battery wires. I like to work with one wire at a time to prevent shorting out the battery. Then just add a drop of solder to the Dean's plug tab. From there, I grab onto the wire with some needle nose pliers and place it in position onto the altar plugs tab. Using the solder gun, pressing down and just applying a little amount of heat will quickly melt the solder and fuse the two pieces. Test the joint by pulling on the wire. After that, slide the one piece of shrink tubing up and begin heating it to shrink it down. Then just slide up the other piece and heat that on to give a nice solid joint onto the plug. Now I can begin working on my next wire. Now I can safely bury the end of the wire with my clippers and again slide on two pieces of shrink tubing. Here's my first and then my second piece. Apply some solder to the ends of the wire and the tab on the plug. And then again hold the wire in place while attaching the soldering iron to heat up the solder. And again sliding up the shrink tubing and getting both pieces up at the end for a nice solid joint. Working in this manner prevents any possibility of shorting out the battery and gives you a nice firm joint for the plug.